Hi! So, today I'll show you a new feature in Resonite. You're able to bring in textures and export them. And you might think now that we, we already can do that. However, it was made easier. So before, what you had to do is find your image, copy it, or just drag it into the application. Then you get a little pop-up, you say texture, brings it in, and then you use it however you want it. However, that's a bunch of finagling around with stuff that you honestly don't need to finagle around with. So what you can now do is directly import and export them from your clipboard directly onto where you want them to be. So come over here. We have a matte cap from our previous video still on here, which is just this color wheel, and it's applied to here. However, it's missing a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll either grab this texture here and press copy image, or press this first button here to copy the image, open up our desktop, open whatever paint application we want, and then just go to paste. Now, once we have it pasted in, we can simply select a color, like this nice little indigo here, change the pen tool and change the size to the biggest that it offers, and draw on it. Then we change to the purple, draw some more, change to a blue. Although the area down there is already pretty blue, you can never be too blue. And then a little bit of, yeah, let's do yellow, since it's a bit contrasting against the purple and pink that already is there. So next, you then simply have to obviously first select everything that you just did. In most applications, at least. And then click Edit again, and Copy. Now, once you've copied it, it's in your clipboard, which allows you to press this button here to simply quick import it, which will just apply it, and as you can see, now we have our purple, our blue, our other blue, and our yellow on this map cap. And if we turn up the normal scale a little bit more, that's going to look a lot more funky than before. And this is how easy it is to just quickly edit a texture now. Just copy image, put it into your program, quickly edit it, which you could even do in VR, as you just saw, and then bring it right back in after copying it. Yeah, I hope that this helps you, and if you want to see anything else specific, leave it down below. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!